guys. All right. So we got UFC 298 coming up. We just had the presser re release. I, I thought of doing something a little different this time around. Uh, let's watch the presser together. So if you haven't seen the presser yet, or if you've already seen it and just want to hang out, get my first reaction because I started watching it and then I stopped it and I was like, eh, let's watch this one with the fellas or Felitos. I, I don't know what the demographics is, but all are welcome. So let's check this presser out. Uh, when I saw Volkanovsky come out looking like an old man, I was like, yeah, this is going to be good. It made me laugh. So I think this will be a good one to watch with you guys. On Saturday night, he is considered the greatest featherweight ever to step into the UFC octagon. He has never been beaten when fighting at 145 pounds and currently sits as the number three pound for pound fighter in the world. Looking Look at him. To make the sixth consecutive defense of his featherweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. He looks like everybody's grandpa. The great Volkanovski. He's got a cardigan on. What's going on, Anaheim, California, USA? Welcome to... Also, let me know if you like watching the presser together and stuff like that. Because if you guys like this format, we'll keep doing it. In the UFC 298 press conference, of course, UFC 298, Volkanovski versus Topoli, who goes down here at Honda Center Saturday night. And some of you may have heard today, we have an exciting announcement for the fans here at Honda Center. Starting this year, both the UFC and WWE will bring at least three events each to Honda Center over the next five years through 2028. So basically, I'm going to pause it every time I want to say something or com commentate on it, but I'm going to pause it rather than talk through it. Very excited to be here and be here several times over the next five years. John Morgan has the first question. Johnny, what do you have? Uh, Got to start with Old Man Volk, I believe. Uh, old Man Volk, a beautiful wardrobe choice there today. Uh, I guess curious, why was it important for you? Are you kind of leaning into the doubt, into the hate to, to wear that outfit today? John Morgan makes me laugh, by the way. And not because he's a funny guy, but just because he's an interesting looking character. And uh, he's becoming like a staple of these press conferences. It's it's great. Oh, man, just having a bit of fun with it, you know what I mean? So you got to do it, you know? Uh, for the people as well, so everyone appreciated the outfit, so I wanted to do it in person. You know, most of your opponents in the past have, you know, said that they could beat you, but they offered you a lot of respect. Elia hasn't really offered you that respect. Oh, now that you, you won't compare me with his past opponents. Well, what do you make? What do you make of it? So it looks like Tapuria is pretty much embraced being the heel, which is interesting because. If you remember not too long ago, even like three years ago, Volkanovsky, he never got any love at the pressers or anything. And now he's a favorite being cheered for over the upcomer, the heel. But I think it's like the way Tarperi is, you know, his, his heel character is arrogance and supreme confidence. Um, he's probably definitely influenced by Conor McGregor. But, you know, nobody beats the king when it comes to trash talk and pressers. What do you make of that energy that he's bringing, that Shut lack the of respect? Up, what do you make of that? Shut the fuck up. Shut up, baby. Shut up. I think this old man needs to teach young fella a lesson. What do you reckon? Hey, you see how he came, he came dressed? Mm. You already know what's going to happen. You just came ready for your retirement. <laughs> look how you look. As a old man, get a good spanking. That's what's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Shut up, I got blue blue. Okay, he said he's gonna humble me. Stand up and do something. Humble me. I'm here, right, right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that? Did you see? watch how watch how Volt gets up? Humble me. I'm here, Look at right, him. right in front of you. <laughs> Shit. Oh. This young whippersnapper needs to be taught a lesson. Good thing. 
It's you get ripped up, man. Very educated person. I don't want to slap you. see me in an old man outfit. Now he wants to be a hard fella. Hey, how about that? Sit down. Hey, I won't be looking like this Saturday night. Saturday night, I'm going to be lean and mean. Come before your head. Go and ask what's going to happen on Saturday night. There you go. Go and ask you what's going to happen on you. I'm going to humble you. I'm going to show you levels. I'm going to walk the floor with you. Hey, I'm gonna make I'm this gonna look easy. I'm gonna fucking hey, I'm gonna make this run. look easy. You see that belt? Yeah, that's I've the seen last it for a while now. I'll belt. keep seeing it. That's the last days you are enjoying that belt because it comes. I've my seen heart. this belt for a while and it I'm gonna keep seeing it. My ways. You I don't see too see well, but I declare I'm be myself right. in name of God uh, as a winner on Sunday night. I'm gonna take your head off. I'll just have one. Look at Volkanovski right here and think about Robert De Niro and tell me that he's not dressed just like Robert De Niro, <laughs> like an old mafia gangster grandpa. One last How one. about this guy, eh? How about it? Conor McGregor want to be, huh? Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Uh, one last one for the Talking about red panty night. He likes to wear the red panty. Oh. All it's coming. Get ready for that. Just one last one for the champ. I mean, obviously, a title defense is important for you, but what is the meaning of this? Is it now to silence this guy? Is it to silence the critics who maybe are doubting you after the loss? Or is it something completely different? Ah, oh, man, obviously, go out there and show. You know, there's going to be there's going to be some doubt. He's going to be showing a lot of confidence. He thinks he's the man to do it. I'm going to show him that he's Of course he's I'm the man. Of I'm going to show you I'm the guy that's been on top of this division for so long. He doesn't stand a chance. Come to, to your end, man. This is Ely, your end. Ely, I did want to ask you. I mean, when you look at Volkanovski's track record, it's pretty impressive. You know, Holloway, Aldo, Yair, Ortega. What, what, what makes you different? Why are you the one when he's beating everybody else? In the division, why are you the, the one? Evolution of this game. Uh, I, I represent the evolution of this game. I, I represent Listen the to everybody generation of mixed martial arts. After this Saturday night. I'm going to change the whole game of mixed martial arts. I'm going to end with this war. And mine's going to start. And you all will become an instant fan. So shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> now some of you can it's come to question. that person and do, some, do something. Question for Henry Cejudo. Henry, uh, curious, you're usually the loud one on stage. What do you make of this back and forth you're seeing in the main event? I like it. I love the fact that there's no attention drawn to me. So... I appreciate it, Volk, with the gimmick. Look at uh, Henry Cejudo wearing a handkerchief. You know, Tenorio out here. For today. I thought it was all pro, maybe Spain, but apparently not. What does a win over Murad do for you at this point in your career? Do you think skill set-wise he's the most difficult guy for you to fight at the moment? Henry, I said... Oh, it uh, uh, a win over Marab, it gets you back to the title picture. You know, fight either the trans Barbie or just the 50-45 and Chino Vera. So that's what I'm expecting. Marab, a lot of people think that you could be fighting for the title anytime soon. Does a win over Henry guarantee you that shot? It's not going to happen. I'm going to be winner of February 17th. And I'm going to make... I'm going to make Mexican people happy. Because Mexican people need to represent Mexican flag. Is it just me or does Marab kind of have like Borat vibes? The greatest country in the world, Kazakhstan. It is the greatest country. And he's in America, like screaming it. <laughs> February 17th. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Henry, I respect you, but it's my time. Yeah, TV, yeah, TV, parvu. You will see February 17th. You heard me. Yeah, TV, parvu. Let's see. Let's see. Be ready. No. I don't no, know what that means. No. No. You're going You're down. Dead. You're dead. You're going down. You're dead. Never. Never. You never see me dead. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Never. Let's go. Guys. You never see me dead. Love you guys. Love you guys.
All right, I've, I've got one from Polo Costa. Yeah. Uh, so, so Polo, it's uh, it's been quite some time since we've seen you. By the way, I I know he's fun to make fun of, but I love Paulo Costa. He's, I mean, it wasn't that long ago he was undefeated in like one of the most promising upcomers, you know, before Izzy beat him. But Paulo's awesome, and he's got a funny sense of humor. And I like that he came back from hair loss, severe hair loss. He made a comeback. Look at look at his hair being all perfect now. You in, in the act, in action. So during your time off, the belt has changed hands many times. Uh, names like Hamzat Chimaev and Bo Nickel have emerged in the division. Has it been particularly hard for you to sit in the sidelines and watch all this go down? Yeah, first of all, I'd like to say this is an amazing crowd, a lot of energy from Anaheim. A round of applause for you guys. You guys are amazing. It's a such good energy to be here again. The last time I was here was 2019 against Romero. It was a great fight, and I love to be here one more time for you guys. Yes, uh, I have lived here in Witcher, very close up here, Orange County. Somebody from Orange County right here? Yeah. That's a cool shirt. I love the place. So, yes, uh, this is a, a kind of a, a long break since my last fight. But I could fix all my injuries, you know, and uh, I'm so happy. The happy, happy, happiness is that they were to translate what I'm feeling right now, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock this guy Saturday 17, and I'm gonna run for the tire shot. Did Paulo Costa just forget Robert Whitaker's name? Is that what just happened? Robert, I, I have a, a pretty similar question. So you have been active during the same time that Costa has been been on the sidelines. How's it been for you seeing this belt that you once held change hands so many times? I, it's just it's just fun. There's a lot of movement in the division. There's it's just rife with opportunity. Mate, if you're in the right place at the right time, it can change a lot. And my, my last question is for John Anik. So, I mean, I think this is the appropriate venue to ask this in because we have such a, a loud crowd today. Um, made a lot of headlines by some of your criticism of the fan base on social media, but now that you're in front of people and you've got this more of this front racing role with, with the promotion, does it feel different? Are you feeling the love from the fans now? I have never been in front of a press conference crowd quite like this, I can tell you yeah, that. Yeah. Question for Jeff Neal. Jeff, obviously there's been a lot of talk leading up to this fight. How do you tune out the noise and focus on the job you've got to do on Saturday? Man, uh, I'm just focused on this fight, man. Uh, I don't do a lot of talking, man. You know, uh, my fight speaks for itself. Uh, I'm going to go out there. Look at him show, looking uh, slick. I'm going to get this done and I'm going to go back home. Same question. Ian Gary, obviously people have been waiting to hear from you. How are you feeling with everything? Uh-oh. Going. Going. Every single one of you is talking about me. Every single one of you is here is here to see me. I'm going to get my hand raised Saturday night, and I'm going to silence every single one of you. I'm going to do what I do best. I'm going to show up. I'm going to show out. And I'm going to get my hand raised in spectacular fashion. That's it. That's my only job. Uh. Question for both of you guys. Will you, after everything that's been said, will you shake hands after the fight? I'll shake hands with any man that's willing to stand there. I'll have to come with me. That's simple as. Maybe. Yeah, I'll shake your hand if you're willing to shake mine. What? I'll shake your hand if you're willing to shake mine. I got you, bro. There you go. Question for Anthony Hernandez and Roman Kopilov. It's the UFC's return to Anaheim. How does it feel to open up the main card? I'm fucking stoked to be on it. The crowd's already fucking wild, so I can't wait to get in there with them. Roma, Roma, вопрос тебе так же как и Anthony. А сколько ты рад, что ты начнешь первый бой в этом карде? 
Ребят, добрый вечер. Я очень рад. This guy looks like a Michelangelo painting. Hey guys, hey everybody. I'm really happy to be here. This is a great opportunity and we're going to start with a great fight for you. It's going to be a very exciting start for the card. Question for Volk. You have the fan support. How does it feel to be able to perform in front of the Anaheim crowd? I mean, everyone knows I love to be in there and everyone knows I love putting on a show. So I cannot wait to do that Saturday night. Use the rim for a treat. One last one from me. Uh, pregunta para Ilya Topuria. Ilya, ¿cuáles van a ser las claves para que el matador se vuelva campeón? Hey, Ilya, what are the keys for the matador to be a champion? He has to show up on Saturday night, squash it. First question for Alex. If you win this fight against Ilya, you are going to be the greatest of all time in the featherweight division. So what's next for Alex? So are you going after the lightweight? By the way, so much energy in here. This old man can't keep up. What were you saying, sorry, brother? After the, after this fight, you are are you? Playing? This guy asking the question. He is a tenor. Like his voice is so high. Uh, he sounds like. Have you seen Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom, where they're they're old Indian guys like. He took the stones from here. He sounds like him. Anyway. You planning to move in after lightweight? Uh, yeah, look, I want to. That's why I want to be active. I want to clear guy featherweight. Uh, my my story at lightweight's not over. I still want that double champ status. So, uh, like I said, this this old dog still got plenty of time in him, and uh, that's what I want as well. Next question for Ilya. When Conor McGregor fought in uh, for the featherweight championship against the Jose Aldo, he was the same records, records with you, same records with you. So, what do you think about it? How confident, how confident that you make history again? I came here to make history. You know, on Saturday night there's going to be only two options for me: kill or be killed. And trust me, um, I'm not ready. I, I don't, I don't came this far to die. So, I'm just ready to kill. Paulo, Paulo, pass. Tudo bom, Paulo? A uh, primeira pergunta que eu queria te fazer é, você chegou na arena, você foi um dos mais, talvez o mais ovacionado aqui pela plateia. Qual o segredo para o lutador brasileiro ser ovacionado aqui nos Estados Unidos, conquistar tantos fãs? Se você tivesse que dar uma dica para um atleta não americano para conquistar os fãs americanos, qual seria? Paulo, você era uma das pessoas que foram cheiradas mais quando você entrou nessa arena. Quais dicas você dê para um atleta não americano? What tips would you give to a foreign athlete to conquer the public like you did? I don't know, bro. It's just I, I, I feel the same energy in this, this crowd right here. You know, I would just want to share with them the same energy and bring exciting fight on Saturday. Bring the real entertainment for everyone here, you know. So I gonna I gonna do my best to do bring the best fight ever for you guys. The men the people main event gonna gonna happen before the real main event. Well, mais uma, Paulo. A gente está ao vivo no alto, se puder fazer em português só essa, por favor. Paulo, você está muito confiante, você deixou claro que a sua pr próxima luta tem que ser pelo cinturão se você vencer o Whitaker. Por que, que você está tão confiante? Existe já um acerto, já te foi oficializado isso nos bastidores, que a próxima luta vale o cinturão? Paulo, you seem really confident that the fight after this, if you win on Saturday, that you're going to be fighting for a belt. Why are you so confident? Has there been any arrangements between you and the UFC? Have you heard that you're going to be going for the belt after this? No, there's no other way. This is the way. Vencendo o Inter, que é o caminho cinturão. There is no other way. The only way is after beating him is fight for the belt. This is my goal. Yeah, uh, Rusty here with uh, KO Sports. Question for uh, Old Man Volk. Old Man Volk. Old um, Man Volk. Are you, are you hitting up uh, Dana after the fight on Saturday for the uh, Senior Citizen Bonus? For Citizen Bonus? Senior Citizen yeah, Bonus. Yeah, 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 we could get that. Uh, I might have to hit him up about, uh, like I said, I plan on doing work this weekend. And 
I don't know if they've found something for UFC 300. Maybe I can uh, go and save the show there as well. I ain't lying about that. Like I said, this uh, old man's got a lot of dog left in him. So uh, well, the UFC let's 300, go. You're going to still be in the hospital, be recovering. Trust me. Hey, don't interrupt Abuelo when he's talking. Abuelo is talking. Couple more days. Couple more days. Couple more days. <laughs> Y Lea, siempre te toca pelear con el público en contra. Pase lo que pase en el combate, ¿tienes pensado hablar con Dana White para que tu siguiente pelea sea en España y sea delante de toda tu afición? Por Ilya, supuesto, you're sí. always fighting siempre against... he acostumbrado a que vayan en contra de mí, pero... Ilya, you're te lo aseguro fighting... que después de este combate todo el mundo estará de mi parte y pelearé por primera vez en frente de toda mi gente en España. Eso sucederá sin lugar a duda. Ilya, you're What? always used to fighting against the crowd on the road. <laughs> It would be nice to talk to Dana and try to get the next fight to be in Spain. Uh, yes, I've always fought against the crowd. I've always fought on the road. Beautiful. It'll be nice. Next time, all the crowd is going to be on my side and I'll fight that in Spain. Ilya, and tell all the fans that you're watching in Spain what's going to happen in this combat. What is your pronostic? Ilya, for everybody that's watching it in Spain, everybody that's watching around the world, what's going to happen Saturday? I'm going to take his lights out in the first round. Ilya, ¿te ha sorprendido ver a Volkanovski en esta actitud? ¿Crees que está nervioso? Mira cómo vino vestido, preparado para el retiro. Se ve para lo que vino. Para el retiro. Did Paulo just go over to Volkanovsky and translate what Ilya said to him? Is that what just happened? I have no idea what just happened, but I that's the only thing I could think of. What was that about? Hey Alex, uh, for Volkanovsky, what did Paulo hmm. Costa just say to you there? It just woke me up. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, for Henry Cejudo, Henry. Character, I mean character. Henry, you've made it clear you want to go up to 145 in the future. Which fighter do you want to see holding that belt between Ilya Tapuria and Volkanovski? That's uh, that's between them. That's between them, man. Like I, I just, I, I personally just want to fight. I, want, I, I gotta get through uh, this uh, this hair transplant. <laughs> once I get through him, obviously, like I said, fight for the belt, and then yeah, of course, 145 is still still the mission. And just last one for you, old man Volk. Uh, we've seen Ilya walking around with the belt. This week, for photos, you touched your belt the last time you did a face-off. What does it mean to you if you're going to get that belt wrapped around you on fight night? That's what I've, all, I've always said. You want to earn your shit, not shit given to you. He took advantage of taking a photo with the belt. and that, uh, Like I said, you may as well take advantage of it now. You're never going to see it again. Not until I teach you a lesson. Maybe one day you can be a great champion. I'm going to kick your ass first. You'll learn your lesson. Maybe you can bounce back after that. But till then, get your hands off my belt. <laughs> I like the way they have instant replays of the press conference now. Who's got the next question? That's it. All right, Anaheim, California. Thank y'all for being here. Don't forget, tomorrow, we got another press conference here for UFC 300, 4 p.m. local time, and then the ceremony away, and we're going to clear the stage and square off these athletes. Thank y'all for the energy. Stay right here. I wish we could have heard more of, as much as I hate to say it, I wish we could have heard more from Ian and uh, Geoff. Geoff? Jeff? Neil. So anyway, by the way, if I'm coming off tired, it's because I am a little tired. I've been working all day, but like I was really looking forward to seeing this press conference, and I wanted to hang out with you guys and check it out. 
So, yeah, let me know who you guys think is going to win uh, between Jeff, Neil, Ian Machado, and Volkanovsky versus Ilpira. And, heck, let's go for um, – let, let me know who you think is going to win between Whitaker and Costa as well. And subscribe, like, share, and ring that bell. Chill. Thank you for kicking in with MMA Flex and Chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell, ring the bell.